everyone and welcome to 27. As part of the 12 cars videos, I got myself a Lancia Delta Integrale 16 valve. It hasn't been completely painless, as you'll see from some of the videos that I'll put at the end of this buying guide. But I thought before selling it, I would just impart whatever I had learned and let you know it's not going to be a completely exhaustive buyer's guide by any means, but it will give you an idea of some of the main things to look out for and the things that I've learned when um, buying this car. So first of all, one of the critical areas to look at when you get it is the front cross member located going all the way across the front of the car. You can see it just looking through into the wheel arches into the front. This car had a huge hole on the driver's side just here. Yeah, this has already started to collect mud and stuff like that. It's a really strange design. It's literally just made it into a pocket. So this whole area was completely gone and had a big hole in it previously. So you always have to keep an eye on that. Another area to look at is around the front windscreen seal here. They always tend to bubble up around there. You also want to look at areas around the sunroof and here, the back of the very back of the, of the roof that always seems to go. In real rear wheel arch you want to check you can see that this one is actually starting to bubble up slightly now they're double skinned so the moisture the, the skins have just split and the moisture has just gone through i don't think it's too serious here it's mainly still surface rust but still these are one of this is one of the, the areas to check also up through the wheel arch skin itself um, on this side have a look they tend to to get hold and they tend to go the bottom of the sills running alongside there, alongside the wheel. Look at the, the way the seal, the, the wheel arch skin is joined up. Look at that joint quite carefully and the bottom over the back of the sill there. Carefully where the boot meets the wheel arch and all the way under there. Tailgates can go again pretty much anywhere, but look around the seals, around the bottom, open it up and have a look underneath. Okay, when it, comes to, when it comes to engine and transmission and some of the other mechanicals, you want to make sure that the cam belts have been done at least, uh, well, they need to be done every 24,000 miles and three years, I believe. Uh, so you definitely want to check that out and make sure that that's been done. On this particular car, the brake master cylinder was really, really done in. So essentially it was just, the, my foot was going to the floor. If you get that, it's a brake master cylinder. And generally speaking, it is buried in there. It's not easy to get to, it's a hard job. It takes quite a while. And I think replacement master cylinders you can find from anything between sort of 60 to 180 pounds. I bought one which was an in-between sort of price. I think it was about 120, 140. Some of the cheaper ones just have seals that won't last and you'll have to do the job again in a couple of years. So. Otherwise, the, the engines are, are pretty good, really. They're not too bad. So there shouldn't be too much to worry about as long as they've been looked after. The turbos again. I think maybe every 80,000 miles or so, they need to be at least refreshed. Uh, so you need to look out for that. And with this Delta, the brakes had to be redone. Make sure that you've budgeted for that. They're not expensive, um, but generally speaking, you're gonna lose a few hundred quid if you have to redo the brakes all round with pads, discs, um, brake master cylinder and so on. If you get any slippage or if the pedal feels quite wooden, then you're looking at a new clutch, so make sure you budget for that as well. If it's juddery, if it slips, then it's something you want to look at. Again, on this particular car, it does judder very slightly sometimes on pickup, and I was quite worried about that. Um, but I asked at Auto Integrale, and the pet, they think it's got some kind of competition clutch because it's quite a modified car, but to them it felt fine, so that's okay. These instrument clusters, they tend to go. What happens usually, especially on this, on the light switch for the, um, for the front lights, for, for the lights generally, is that it will start switching on the front lights, but not the rears. You can get these from Tank Barrett for all in, including VAT and postage. It's about 150, 160 pounds. So it's not inconsiderate. It's quite easy to fit yourself, but make sure that's all working because that's not cheap to replace. Everything in here is quite fragile, but it's actually improved quite a bit from when I first got it. Do you get a lot of rattles and a lot of squeaks, but this was really bad. And I actually realized that 90% of the noise was coming from a really badly fitted radio. It hasn't worn too badly. The seats, um, they are 
very very prone to wear especially on these bolsters and especially if they are alcantara even on a 50 60 000 mile car if it hasn't been looked after you can expect these to be worn and and quite worn through make sure all the electrics work as always on an italian car quite often you'll get a plethora of warning lights and everything coming through on these in particular you want to watch out for the engine check light the red ie light that should go on when you switch on the car but that they should then go off if it stays on, there's something wrong. So on a 16 valve, the wheels are diamond cut and having them refurbished can be quite expensive. Problem is that if they have to be diamond cut, they have to be absolutely 100% straight. So a lot of wheels have a very slight buckle that doesn't really make a lot of difference when you're driving them. But if you're going to diamond cut them, they have to be perfect. So on top of the cost of refurbishing and diamond cutting, you have to send them to be straightened, which is what happened to these. Expect a cost, including the straightening, expect a cost of six, seven, even eight hundred pounds to get the wheels refurbed. You can get them, you can get repros on eBay for about 500 quid, you can get Evo repros as well. So that's really up to you. I'm not sure what the quality of those are like. They come from Italy, so that is definitely another option. Also, make sure you keep a, an eye out on the various suspension bushes, which tend to go out the standard ones after 20, 30,000 miles. If you have a clunking noise at the front of the car, the most likely thing are those roll bar collectors as well, which look quite cheap. They're rose jointed and you can get some chocolate ones for about 60 quid maybe, but any decent ones, they go for about 140, 150 quid. Okay, okay so on the sills and the arches, make sure you look at uh, the seam, make sure it's not splitting too much or anything like that on each side. Make sure you look under the rear sills there as well and right at the top of the, the wheel arch skins there where the metal's quite thin. This part here again where it sort of meets up with the, with the boot is a notorious area so make sure that you check that thoroughly. And most of these cars are pretty old now, they'll have had some rust, some repairs. Just make sure that if they have, they've been done properly. So finally, if you are gonna get one, then good luck to you. They are fantastic fun, really, really great cars. Good luck, thanks for watching. And if you have time, have a look at the other stuff I've got on the channel as well.